I'm Walmart Gaddafi, and this is the last theater in Libya. Yes, this cardboard box. Let me tell you a little bit about my country. Since 1800, Libya, since 1800, and from before any of us were born to know language began to describe place. Since 1800, Libya has had 20 flags. In the same period, the United States of America has had one. Adding stars doesn't count. Italians got it in 1911 and held on until World War II when Europe was forced to give away, finally, their occupied territories. Funny thing, during that whole time the Italians didn't realize that under Libyan soil was That didn't happen until 1959. The Italians had raised uh, a leader under them, who they chose from one of the major tribes called King Idris. And King Idris, after the Italians left once, they had discovered oil, began giving away oil contracts to foreign governments, oil companies. Sound familiar? He privatized public resources for the financial gain of a few rich people. seemingly gave him some kind of kickback. Certainly I found in my own experience that this was the way it worked. So at that time, a 22-year-old general named me overthrew King Idris in order to bring the public resources back to benefit the public. Sound, sounds not so bad. Nobody wants to be a dictator. 
it's just that it's the only way to stay in control. I wrote a book that I think most 23-year-olds, American college students, would be quite happy with. It's a treatise on the failings of representative democracy. Sound familiar? I tried, but it turned out like Obama's discovering that governing is more complicated than being idealistic and capturing the hopes of the population. I refused to negotiate. 